Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop with the camera. We can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Make a right turn. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. It's the next left. Straight on. Straight through the intersection. Next right. Any central unit suspect to be taken into custody at Southern California Auto Club. Stand by for further unit handle identified code. 11K responding. Go ahead with the further. 11K is Detective Phelps, LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons. I'm a reporter, you idiot! I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? Parking lot. This is the blue Talbot. Thank you. How about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? I'm trying. Well, that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. I'm not getting away that easily.
Examiner and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? Parking lot. This is the blue Talbot. Hey, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. PD, sir. Can I have a word? Well, that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. He's not getting away that easily. LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tell one of our patrons. I'm a reporter, you idiot! I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? Parking lot. This is the blue Talbot. Hey, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. LAPD, sir! Can I have a word? 
that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. He's not getting away that easily. for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? Parking lot. This is the blue Talbot. Hey, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Let's do this. Oh, I'm going to show you. LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? Well, that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. He's not getting away that easily. Nobody's goddamn business, but my own. 
Take the next left turn. You're gonna go right up ahead. Stay straight on this road. Go straight. Homicide guys are already inside. Murkowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a not common metal unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who were the other mix? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. Get this, they used to be in a four piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree. We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want to work with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. I miss Steve Bukowski. Just pop the bells and rounds into it. Certainly sends a message. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Heaven's sake, are they? from what's left in circulation. Cap 
to stash close at hand. Some packs to a carton. Hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been oh, decreased yet. yet. We could check, check on the serial numbers. numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea of who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. 111 with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Try to crack the safe.
How well did you know the owner? Older? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war and then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life or getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of mining that quickly without pissing a few people off. Take the next left. Why are you going to piss off in your direction? Stay, Miss Lippman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. Damn. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone floor? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elroy. How about you get a drink? Well, I see this. Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He... Loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. Would like something to eat? He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to be talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. You're so full of courage, you have. Never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against nobody? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Red words. Very important. Words are just words, Colfabs. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mix. Colin? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me until tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner.
address for the most part. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. I'm going up to the lake to watch the race on Saturday. The cherry pie was delicious. LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, buddy. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Ega Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometimes. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugar Loaf. I've heard it. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Uh, so I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and morphine stolen from the SS Corps. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers with you. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their claws makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. 
But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut, cut that coke. It looks bad when people die. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. That seem to pipe fright that easy. We'll see. That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it. Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Wars have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in office? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He can bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working, uh, sir, do you know which robber detectives are working? The army surplus that from the courage. Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. I don't care. I don't go in for that gangster dog Scott Free. Harry. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, anytime. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, Crate of Valor Smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here are these. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the massacre at 111 Club? You think those vice boys get any on the side? I need a drink. I got the jitters again. You think those vice boys get any on the side? That's our three culprits. Here's our back room arsenal from the 111 Club. I got the jitters again. Ah, this is the crate we recovered. I need a drink. I got the jitters again. Half a million cigarettes loose on the streets of LA. You have to think of these guys are from my old unit. I want to stop them with one fight and shipped home. Also, Sheldon. McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen? They control the hop. Detectives! KGPL's going crazy! Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Damn. Harry says the same. Next left.
Go free. Keep going straight. All units, mother of shooting at 1-3 or North Blast, 116 Adam reports suspects on the roof of the JW Robinson building. All units approach for caution. Units 49 William 15 Adam, go to 1370 Gordon Street. Establish a perimeter and stand by for further. Any other units to respond? Go 3, identify. It's the next Unit 19 Adam, AD officer at 5920 Mountain Avenue. Assist unit 49 William transporting an injured citizen. 19 Adam Handle, go 3. Take the next left. Phone number and restaurant table. the BARs. guys from the ship. Name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective, detective now, Chico. Who's the judge? Hey. It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just, just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the quarters? Yeah, I heard about it. So what, what happened? Not much. The cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I was down at the one level this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. 
You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. <laughs> Who's shooting it, you feelings? How the fuck do I know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have a morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. Jesus, Cole. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Stay straight on this road. What the hell? Pretty cool well, customer. customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute.
Phelps at 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thank you. I've got friends who work at the event. I've got five. Jack was a company sergeant. We would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. Won't work. He's a tough customer. Take the next left. Christ! Take the next left. Actually, we'd prefer if you come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk to fuck you. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You're on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle, muscle in on the dope brackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. And you didn't know that some lobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a great VAR's were missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was Pussy. he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds in the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. 
I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump. This $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it, keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting. Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name for the manifest? Shut How many more friends are going to get plugged? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? God damn! No worries. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. You go back a long way. You went too easy on them. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own bed. Go straight over. It's the next break. Stop just ahead. He just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. I can't take the shot from here, Cole! Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer! I'll try for the tires! Keep your foot down! It's no good, we need to get closer! 
Hit him. Put this asshole off the road. File. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. We need to get to those guys fast, fast otherwise they'll be in a case. limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we drop the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. No, I think that we'll fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been That's taken care, care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Coral? Name's Roy Earl, detective. Administrative vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public. We all serve. It'll be all over the papers by tomorrow. And you... Oh, the thing is all fall. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Cohen's meeting with Sheldon tonight.
taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? As I get them to do. The opposite don't know who has the morphine. They're waiting for someone to crack it. It's the next left. You're gonna go right up ahead. Straight on. People never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Juski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Thing. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole.
turn left when you can. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Go straight through. Straight ahead. Straight through the intersection. Scare him off the tar. I can't hit a target to hit an air belt. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. I'm getting close. Steer him off the tar. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him. Let us out of the road. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Take the next right. Next right. Go straight through. Straight over the next intersection. Straight over. Go straight at the next intersection. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I gotta put an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on the APB on the Carl 11 King. Carl 11 King, come in. Carl 11 King. Carl 11 King, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be But that's not correct protocol. 11 K, I'll take that as a roger. Carl 11 King on route. Take the next right. Straight over the next intersection. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap! No buts. This is more important. My sister's always been lucky when it comes to her. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Shell. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Dr. Holland Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolidge. You can't prove that. that. Let's see if I, I can try. try. And what, what is your relationship, relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Mm -hmm. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. It leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on themselves. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about, about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those, Those guys, guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack, Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You are Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! 
Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. Hand over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been? My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. already. Everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? 
Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Yeah. We don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps. I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to... 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Fucking downer.